How's it going, everyone? My name is Dylan. I'm here with Yahoo Esports. I am also with Shrey and Ko from Tempo Storm. So I want to ask you guys how you came about uh, getting into Heroes of the Storm and playing professionally. Well, I was an original member of Symbio Gaming, as a lot of people in the scene know, and that was one of the, the first competitive teams, and we had a really dominant run all through like the alpha and beta of the game. I have a background playing uh, previous MOBA, League of Legends, and um, after playing that for five years, I was eager to get in Heroes of the Storm. I don't remember why I was eager to get into it, but it looked like a lot of fun, and I really wanted to try it out. Day to day, what is the life of a player for Tempo Storm? Eat, sleep, scrim, your league, repeat. Okay. Pretty much it. I mean, the minimum every day is four hours of pure scrimming, but I mean, it takes up like five hours plus with the break. And then there's a lot of stuff on top. And of course, tournaments can go all day. Top four teams in North America for a while have been Bob Ross, who's now Novintic, Cloud9, Tempo Storm, and Cognitive. Between those four, what, what do you think makes you guys stand out? As a team, what kind of defines you um, towards the top there? I feel like we don't have a gimmick. We can play anything. Bob Ross is known for the regression. Cog is known for zero tool stitches, very niche picks. And Blaze isn't really, they're also known for cheese. I feel like we can pull any of those strategies out and more. I would also say that a lot of the NA top NA teams right now, they have particular players that carry a, a lot of the weight on the team and are considered like the all-stars and, and the players that people really have to expect to do a lot. And so it's easier to target those players ban out particular characters that they might want to play or just shut down their lanes, shut down their style. For us, uh, I, I'd say we more of just play all as a unit. Trey is a new shot caller for Tempo Storm, right? What do you guys all bring individually to the table? I think everybody does have kind of a little role that they fill on the team just outside of, you know, just being the players that they are. Trey is just really good at coming up with a plan and just kind of bringing everybody to execute it. He does a good job of balancing the line between micromanaging people on the team and telling them where to go specifically, and also just kind of remembering to keep the general picture in mind of what we're trying to accomplish. And uh, yeah, because it can be easy to get caught up in just telling individual players where to go and like who to focus and mm -hmm. what, to, what to do every little step. Me personally, I think I do a lot more of the mediating of the team, just kind of helping people with problems and working, you know, working out stuff, like a little tension between the team. Zix definitely is our hype guy when it comes to events. He's the loudest. He's uh, the person who's always, you know, if you hear us yelling coming from our corner, it's definitely Zix. It helps motivate all of us and get us excited when we're in the middle of a match. Do you have any suggestions for Blizzard, maybe? I mean, I think Blizzard's definitely doing, stepping up with hosting all these tournaments, putting up the prize money. But I, I would like to see um, more focus for the spectators on esports. I don't really see a lot of um, promotion by them for the, the, all the tournaments that they're hosting. So I would like to see that maybe something in the client. I'd say for the current meta, just making sure to balance the power of different styles and making sure that a team can win through map manipulation as well as winning through high aggression and focused targets and just explosive, you know, targeting high damage, uh, you know, really lethal comps as opposed to uh, comps that just push you all around the map. I think all those different styles need to be able to work and there needs to be different, you know, niche play styles that can succeed. So what do you guys think about the new Hero Zool? I mean, I love the Necromancer from D2, and I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a specialist, so it's kind of right up my alley in terms of, you know, just playing a character that can control the map and do interesting things. But overall, it just looks like a really fun character. I hope he promotes asymmetrical gameplay. I really like um, heroes that kind of make the game different, like Abathur, Vikings, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, at least for me, because I can actually play Zul. I don't play specialists on the team. Maybe in Hero League and enjoy it, but for me, the only way I can actually have fun with Zul is if I can make some cool kind of comp with Draft. If you had to pick your favorite moment from a public tournament in your whole competitive history, what would it be? The Vikings game versus C9 at Heroes Rising was, it was absolutely an awesome game. It was a, a great feeling. The moment where I was capping the two shrines on the top of the map with the two Vikings while we were like winning a team fight in bottom. We just felt, you know, like we, we, we knew we were gonna win that match in that moment. And it was so, so exciting and just, yeah, that was, that was definitely my favorite, favorite moment. What do you guys think the hardest part of being a professional Heroes of the Storm player is? With Heroes of the Storm specifically, it's, it's challenging because there's just so many different like things people can do and, and different styles people can pick. And I'd say that's kind of like one of those things that makes Heroes of the Storm a cool game, but at the same time, being a competitive player, 
you have to keep tabs on like so many different styles, practice so many different uh, types of play, like the asymmetrical play and stuff. All right, well, I think that'll do it. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for coming, and we're going to look forward to seeing your matches here in the future. Thank yeah, you for thank, having us. Thanks for having us.